The clubfoot is a birth defect. It affects about one baby in a thousand born on the planet today, twice as many uh, males as females. And um, when you, one recognizes it as a, a foot that looks quite deformed at the time of birth, as you can see here, uh, the foot is turned so that the sole of the foot points towards the other foot. And really it's important to treat this if uh, children are going to walk, be, be walking normally. We like to treat the club foot uh, in Fraser Health with what's called the Ponsetti method. And the Ponsetti method uh, was described by Professor Ignacio Ponsetti uh, about 50 years ago uh, after he clearly understood the, the biology of the growing foot and as well as the, uh, the, the anatomy of the soft tissues and the bones. And what he described was a, a technique of gentle manipulation and then very accurate casting such that the foot could be gently moved uh, bit by bit by bit. And you can see we start out with a foot that looks like this and the first cast would shape the foot into a little bit better position, the second cast, the third cast, the fourth cast and the fifth cast, each applied at weekly intervals which will gradually take the foot uh, looking from, uh, from, from a club foot to a, a much more normal foot as you see in, in number five. Once the foot is corrected, um, to, to, to prevent the deformity from coming back, uh, we uh, normally prescribe braces that are worn by the child initially for a couple of months, 23 hours a day, and then nighttime only for a period of four years. And here's a sample of a brace. There are many different types. This particular one is one that uh, is from Uganda. But you can see that there's a bar uh, at which uh, goes from one shoe to the other. And the beauty of this is that when you put the brace on, on the child, it turns the feet out and turns them upwards and, and keeps them in the correct position. My colleagues in Uganda informed me of the plight of children born with club feet in Uganda. Uh, so many of them uh, were not, weren't being treated because there simply weren't enough facilities for traditional surgical release. It was at that time that I wondered whether we could bring Ponsetti Club for treatment to Uganda and, uh, and have the treatment performed by paramedicals, thereby providing treatment, accessible treatment uh, for children uh, in Uganda born with club feet. And, uh, we are very fortunate that the Canadian International Development Agency gave us the necessary resources to be able to do this. And we established what we call the Uganda Sustainable Club for Care Project in uh, 2004. And uh, what this allowed us to do in partnership with the Ministry of Health and others in Uganda was to really build capacity within the Ugandan healthcare system and the Ugandan system of higher education for the treatment uh, uh, and the teaching of Ponsetti Club for treatment throughout Uganda. We now have 40 Club for clinics throughout the country where children born with club feet can access treatment. We've built capacity for the, the, the screening of foot deformities and referral pathways. And we've also built capacity within 38 schools of uh, higher education. Recently, uh, we were able to secure another large grant from the Canadian International Development Agency, this time to bring uh, Ponsetti Club for treatment to Bangladesh. Our program in Bangladesh is entitled Sustainable Club for Care Bangladesh. And um, what we really want to do is to uh, bring the lessons that we've learned in Uganda to bear uh, on, in the Bangladeshi context a country where there are 5,000 children born with club foot each, each year. Uh, what we'd like to happen at the end of our five-year project is to uh, ensure that every child born in Bangladesh uh, with a club foot is detected at, uh, short at or shortly after birth, that the child is taken to a clinic where treatment is available and treatment is effective. And how do we want to go about doing this? Well, we, we want to uh, raise awareness in primary care and within the population as a whole that the club foot deformity is treatable. And then we want to put into place referral mechanisms so that once the deformity is detected, uh, it is known where children should be taken, to which clinics they should be taken for treatment. And then we want to put into place staff into each of these hospitals, each of these clinics that are well trained in the management of club foot by the Ponsetti method. And lastly, we want to put into place mechanisms whereby us hospital administrators and others can also do their bit by making sure that the facilities are open, that the supplies are available so that children can be treated 
uh, hopefully at no cost. My name is Sonata Clements. Um, I have a four-year-old son, Makai, who was born with clubfoot. So when I found out that at 19 weeks uh, ultrasound that uh, Makai's feet were going to be um, abnormal, um, we found out about Dr. Parani and um, how close he was to our house, being practicing out of Royal Columbian Hospital. So we were really excited the fact that we didn't have to travel far. So when I went to see him when I was still pregnant, he was able to give us advice on what to expect and um, well, we got to find out more information about the condition and find out what our options were. And um, we kind of just, um, we put everything on hold till Makai was born. And then um, when he was about two days old, he began treatment right away with Dr. Parani. So he casted him um, at that time, at two days old, and was able to have his feet corrected within five weeks. So after five weeks, his feet were um, looking perfectly normal. Um, and uh, it was just incredible um, meeting Dr. Parani, and right away um, we were grateful that, that we were able to first of all find him and being having Makai treated by him and had these amazing results and just last month when he turned four he was um, he no longer wears a brace so his feet are corrected his feet are looking normal and um, it was just the, the greatest joy um, for everybody um, knowing that many children out there in these course of the countries are going to be able to receive the same treatment and um, have a same success story like Makai is just, I, words can't describe it, it's just incredible.